Hey, welcome back to Five Acre Honey Farm. I'm Tara Lynn, and I wanted to share a little bit today about um, honey jars and why I use the jars that I do when I bottle honey. And that's something that um, if you're new to beekeeping or even if you've been beekeeping a long time, you might have um, kind of like been curious about. Um, it really doesn't come down to just a price point. Um, that's actually something um, I feel like I haven't even considered at all. So to start with, price is not something that I consider. Um, I, um, I personally, all of the honey that I extract and bottle, I only bottle in glass. And that's really important to me because um, glass is recyclable and reusable. And um, with plastics, plastics are inherently breaking down over time. So um, the plastic can leach into the honey, it can impact the taste over time. So depending on how long um, someone might be storing their honey, um, that could impact the flavor uh, at some point. Uh, so I'm going to little share. This is pretty much um, one of the more common um, one pound glass jars that I use. Um, the reasons why I like this jar um, is that I love the shape of it. Um, it just has like a nice feel to it. Um, and it has almost like a skep like and if you're familiar with skeps kind of like the old style of the, the hives um, that kind of like look like little baskets so i like that that shape to it i also like that when i have the label on here you can clearly see the honey and you know the light catches it so it has like a really beautiful kind of aesthetic quality to it too and um, the important part though is you know it's not just glass is glass but the the mouth of the jar is large enough where a teaspoon can fit through it. So um, I wanna make sure that any jar that I use, you can actually like access with a cooking utensil so that if you are putting it in your tea or your coffee or, um, or if you're cooking with it in another way that you can actually like put a utensil in here and get out what you need. Um, and the reason behind that, which I'll do another video about, is to prevent crystallization of, of honey. So um, if you're able to get um, a utensil in here, then you don't have to um, really expose it too much um, if you're like trying to like pour it out all the time or leave it open and, and things in other kind of containers that might do that. So that's one of the, the jars. Um, the other one pound jar that I use um, is this wide mouth jar and I actually started using these semi by accident. Um, the jars that I really like, the ones that I just showed you, um, had been sold out and I needed another one pound jar. So I opted for these. I personally don't like the um, the typical canning jars where you've got the, the two separate um, pieces for the top. You've got the, um, you know, the, um, the lid and then you've got the ring that goes on. I find that they're really kind of annoying when I'm cooking to have to pry them open and um and they get all sticky with the honey and everything so i like using these because they're just a, a, a twist top and the nice thing with the wide mouth is that you can get a tablespoon in here or a measuring cup and um and it's a lot more versatile and friendly for cooking with honey so i like these i also like these because when it gets really low down to the bottom um what i like to do is then I, i'll make tea and let it cool down because I don't want it to um, break the glass or um, take away the medicinal properties of the honey. And so basically just a warm tea I'll put in there and mix it in uh, so I can drink my tea straight out of this and then put it through the dishwasher and then I'll store um, herbs and, um, and uh, maybe like dehydrated berries and things in here in my pantry. So I reuse my glass jars for my own personal use and I encourage folks who get my honey to do the same for their own. Um, you know, so that's why I like these. Um, the other jar that I use um, are these little four ounce jars. And the reason that I use these is that um, they also have a wide enough top where you can get a teaspoon to fit in the top. They're really adorable. And so they make a really good gift um, for you know client appreciation gifts or wedding favors. And um, the label, I also kind of like designed it so that it will, um, excuse me, um, it will, you know, fit almost pretty fairly perfectly onto like this one side of the, the honeycomb shape. 
uh, and it allows, you can really see, and I'll kind of try to hold this up here, you can really see like inside, which is pretty because like this particular one, I was able to get some comb in here. Another benefit is that having that, that top open enough is that I can get the comb in there. Um, it also, these, if you order these types of um, hexagonal um, jars, they come with this extra little sticker that goes down the side. So it's like a nice way of like sealing it um, and you can, you know, put your, um, you know, a logo, a stamp, or any other kind of message you need on there. Um, I typically just write raw on them. I have little tiny one ounce jars, which I don't have in front of me right now. Um, I didn't really use them this year. And um, those I'll usually use near like the end of like as I'm extracting. So just like I'll have a few that I might hold on hand. And, um, you know, if we have someone over, um, or if we're visiting somebody, I might just like bring a few for folks and just have them um, to give away. Um, and it's also like a nice way for folks to sample um, some honey too. So I just kind of keep those around just to have. Um, in the past, um, when folks have needed like favors, the little one ounce jars are great for that. Um, a teaspoon does fit into them, but it doesn't really like get, um, you know, like everything out of them and they're they're just such tiny jars and they're they're cute so they're good for also storing like different teas i use them i reuse them for that too so that's a little bit about um you know why i use the the jars that i do i will link um to where i get these um uh which i i order them all through amazon and i personally i try to order them um over the winter um because what i found when when these when the style for these were out of stock, it was like during prime um, harvest and extraction season. So I've learned to just order in advance. And, um, you know, a few years ago I ordered a bunch and then last year there was no honey. So I had a bunch left, but I ordered some more this past winter. And I'm glad I did because this was such a remarkable harvest this year. And I ended up using almost everything that I had in stock down there. I do have a few boxes left of um, these four ounce jars. Um, so now I just need to stock up on the one pound jars. Final note though, um, I find that most folks are interested in the one pound and the four ounce. Um, so far, no one has asked for a larger jar. So I haven't gone to the effort of buying and storing uh, larger jars. So, um, you know, I think like it would be probably more attractive for like um, you know, a restaurant to use, you know, like a food grade bucket or something like that, if you're going to be doing like large quantities, but, um, but otherwise, um, I've so far, like no one's really had a demand for anything larger. Um, I know personally, if I wasn't a beekeeper, I would probably want like a two pound or larger, um, jar for my own supply. Um, just like, um, and I have an earlier video of my maple syrup order. Like I buy a case of maple syrup every year. Like I can't produce my own and I really like it. Perhaps like for your own needs or for the folks that, um, who, who buy your honey or like to enjoy it, they might need a different size jar, but these have worked really well and seem to be um, the most popular. And I'd love to hear uh, how you um, bottle your honey and which types of bottles you prefer. I love the look of um, the bottles that have like a little cork top in them and I have purchased those before um, from other um, you know honey stores and beekeepers and I think they just look really pretty but they're just really not fun to use and like the tops just really get sticky and I just can never seem to get all of the honey out of the jar um, so so that's just like one personal preference and I also have received as gifts like little honey dishes with like, and I actually have one inside um, with um, the like wooden um, honey dipper. And I tried using those, but like the honey dries out fairly quickly. So it seems like that's just really something you would just use. Like if you were having folks over for brunch and then you would have to like use up that honey and cook with it or somehow move it into a different container um fairly quickly after that so that it doesn't um crystallize and um and so those are the different containers and um kind of rambling at this point because i'm just thinking of actually like the other uh, you know those other little like gifts that i had gotten that i mentioned 
Um, but please tell me uh, how you store your honey, how you prefer to, how you'd like to, and, um, and any other tips you have.